Hello again, YouTube community. It is I, your favorite apostate, Anon Dude 2, here once again exposing Watchtower inconsistency and freeing you from the prison of your very own mind. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses, I have yet another question that I would really like some help with. Now, your organization ostensibly claims that of all the other organizations on Earth, it and it alone is the most loving. Usually it will back up this claims, uh, claim by plastering pictures all over the Watchtower and Awake magazines of people dressed in various national garbs such as sombreros or Liederhausen and black people and white people and they're all hugging and they're smiling and they're having a good time and, and oh it just makes you so feel so good and oh hooray for multiculturalism and brotherhood and unity and all, and all that. So. That's fine. That's well and good. I well, certainly don't have anything uh, to complain about in that regard, but even though the pictures are slightly disingenuous because you and I both know that we don't actually wear that kind of thing to the Kingdom Halls, but I digress. If, we, if Jehovah's Witnesses claim that they're, and they and they alone are the most loving out of all the world's organizations, then why is it that more so than any other organized religious institution, they pejoratively label virtually everyone. I mean, let's think about this honestly for a second, okay? Non-witnesses are considered to be worldly because, according to you, they are of the world. Now, even if somebody lives a completely moral life, even if, let's just say hypothetically, they have the exact same views as you, if they are not one of Jehovah's Witnesses, they are worldly. This defies logic. Or does it? What I believe the intent is, is to create a very distinct black and white us versus them mentality. Of course, you could have a different view and that's why I'm asking this question because I would like you to explain it to me preferably with a video response but I know a lot of you witnesses don't like to make such video responses and also if your organization is the most loving out of all the other religious institutions then why is it that your organization has the least impact in aiding people who are in need whether it be uh, through food banks or through other charitable works, it all goes to kingdom halls and uh, and literature. Aside from the uh, rare natural uh, <laughs> natural disaster where you guys chip in, but you don't make a huge impact. Am I wrong? Again, I would like some clarification on the matter, brothers and sisters. My faith is incredibly weak, and also. If your organization is the most loving out of all the other organizations, why is it that you are the least tolerant of alternative views? Other organizations are willing to have a civil conversation. Your organization teaches its members to wholeheartedly shun people who may have a different opinion. Chances are you won't even answer this question because you're not supposed to respond to this video. How is it, Jehovah's Witnesses, that given these circumstances, you claim, make the claim, that you are the most loving? Because the way it seems to me in my incredibly weak, uh, mentally diseased state of mind, your organization has to rank pretty low on the love factor aside from the, you know, wonderfully disingenuous multicultural pictures that you put in your uh, magazines. <laughs> I'm just saying. Remember, life is a state of mind.